He hired also an hundred thousand mighty men of valor out of Israel for an hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel to wit with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it, be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy. For God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah separated them, to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim to go home again. Wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. But the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria, even unto Beth Haron, and smote three thousand of them, and took much spoil. Then Amaziah sent messengers to Jehoash, the son of Jehoahaz, son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us look one another in the face. And Jehoash, the king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Judah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughters to my daughter to wife. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon, and trode down the thistle. Thou hast indeed smitten Edom, and thine heart hath lifted thee up. Glory of this, and tarry at home, for why shouldest thou meddle to thy hurt, that thou shouldest fall, even thou and Judah with thee? But Amaziah would not hear. Therefore Jehoash king of Israel went up, and he and Amaziah king of Judah looked one another in the face at Beth Shemesh, which belongeth to Judah. And Judah was put to the worst before Israel, and they fled every man to their tents. And Jehoash king of Israel took Amaziah king of Judah, the son of Jehoash, the son of Amaziah, at Beth Shemesh, and came to Jerusalem, and brake down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim unto the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and silver, and all the vessels that were found in the house of the Lord, and in the treasures of the king's house, and hostages, and returned to Samaria. and the rest of the acts of Joash, and all that he did, and his might, wherewith he fought against Amaziah king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Joash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam sat upon his throne, and Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoash, which he did, and his might, and how he fought with Amaziah king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jehoash slept with his fathers, and was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel, and Jeroboam his son reigned in his stead.